Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kishalaya. So this is the first proper video I am making in my channel. So let me introduce myself to you. I have completed my masters in computer science from IISC last year in 2020. And currently I am working as a research associate in IIT Khadapur. So recently I have appeared, uh, I have applied to in, uh, this uh, different IITs and IISC for PhD admission program in machine learning and AI. And I have gone through their interview process uh, recently. Uh, so I thought uh, I thought of let's uh, make a video series so that I can ex share my experiences to uh, through that so that it will be helpful to the future aspirants who who, who are willing to join this institution uh, for pursuing their higher studies or PhD and for that they need to know that which what are the patterns of the questions they should ask and how how the interview process is all about how you have to prepare and all so I thought of make a video series regarding all my uh, interview experiences so in this particular video I'll 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 be sharing my experiences in IISC and maybe in the latter video I'll be making few more videos that will be related to the other IITs where I have appeared for the interview. So without further ado, let's start uh, today's video. Now coming to the IISC. So uh, in IISC in a particular application form, you can apply, you can give uh, three department of your choices where you want to apply for the PhD program and you will be you will be giving giving given an order of your preferences. Uh, so for me like the, like my uh, I was willing to join in the domain of AI and machine learning. So I applied for uh, EC department, computer science department and electrical department uh, because in, in the in the field of AI and machine learning EC and electrical department are also very good and there are some active research is going on in different domain like in if you are going for theoretical machine learning domain EC department is doing very good and in the, the speech and video like computer vision and all electrical department is doing very good so i applied to these three departments now before the interview all of these three departments will be sending you a, a, a google form where you have to fill up the particular topic or particular you know subdomain where you want to give the interview like for me it was like a graph neural network or machine learning and deep learning these things so if you are interested in other domains like system pool or theoretical pool you have to choose uh, you know you have to give your choices accordingly now coming to the interview process uh, so i have done my masters from iisc and i have seen it uh, throughout the two years of my mtech in iisc that in iisc in any courses if it is not a system course like if you are going for a theoretical uh, computer science like algorithms uh, cryptography and like uh, approximation and all or you are going for an intelligent system course like machine learning ai optimization they are you know that the courses are more focused or more inclined toward you know mathematical foundation or the theoretical proofs so we have seen like you know in the classes or in the exams and there are a lot of questions comes where you have to you have to prove the thing rather than just saying intuitively that okay this would be the answer so whatever you are saying you have to prove it you know mathematically and you know give a proper justification and proper you know background that why you are saying this thing so that that particular culture of you know proving everything or you know proving whatever you are saying that thing reflects in the interview so in the interview they ask a lot of proofs in iisc so there will be a few questions they, they asked me to just solve the question but most of the question across these three different departments they asked me to prove a lot of things related to probability and linear algebra so I will come one by one. Now coming to the uh, interview round of computer science and automation department. Uh, so there are three, uh, three professors was there in the panel. So one of them was just to coordinating yourself, you know, just giving you a, uh, you know, get, just introducing yourself and reading on applications and all. Other person was for a probability, uh, one person was asking probability questions and other person was asking uh, the linear algebra question. So I'll be giving a link. So where the details of the question will be there, you can check it out. But I'm just in this video, I'm just giving you the overview of the questions that they have asked me. So the person, uh, so the professor who asked me the probability question, he asked me something related to the expectation of uh, random variables which have chosen from uniformly from a uniform distribution. Uh, so it was not, not not that easy for me initially because that I'm not that much comfortable in expectation of random variables and all. So pro the sir actually broken the problem into some simpler problem and then I started solving the simpler one and eventually I solved the harder problem. And the other professors she asked me from the linear algebra part. 
so she first asked me from vector spaces null spaces column spaces then she asked me something related to that eigen value eigen vector then she asked me a proof that if lambda is uh, eigen value of eigen eigen value of a matrix a you have to prove that lambda to the power k is eigen value of a to the power k also she she has asked me to, she had asked me to prove that you know a b c inverse is actually c inverse b inverse a inverse so that was pretty simple actually and two questions she asked me to solve one was related to finding eigen value of a particular matrix and one was to solve the system of linear equation so this was this round was actually a mix of both so few questions are actually solving the particular problem and the other other questions were actually proving like the probability question and few of the linear algebra questions were to prove that particular concept next i appeared uh, to the electrical department so this was the you know full of theoretical proofs and all so there are also three professors are there in in the panel so first professor asked me from the linear algebra part so he started asking from eigen value eigen vector uh, the characteristic equation and all then he asked me to prove that why this de 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 determinants of a minus lambda is equal to 0 so he asked me to you know give up intuition or proof uh, for that then he asked me uh, to find out the eigen values of the rotational matrix so this was a bit tricky for me because i didn't know the rotational matrix so they helped me to get that but again its eigen value is not that simple uh, so it was a bit tricky for me and then he asked me to prove that you know you all know that eigen value of a real symmetric matrix is real but he asked me to prove that uh so i didn't know it and it was i think if you don't know how to prove it you can't prove it so that i couldn't do then the next next professor he started asking from the probability part so he started asking from random variables probability density function and he asked me one of the like popular density function that is uniform uh, uniform distribution he asked me what is this uh, distribution or density function then he started asking me from this transformation of random variable from one distribution to another so suppose uh, the question he asked that one random variable the random variable is coming from a uniform distribution 0 1 so how you will transform it to a, a you know exponential uh, random variable so that part was also again i was not much comfortable but uh, he started asking me lot of things related to that and finally the, the the last guy last professor he he asked me from the machine learning part so uh, he asked me related to multivariate gaussian distribution so and uh, in the index and, and in the exponential term actually so that is related to mohalanobis uh, distance so that also he asked that what what that particular distance is called uh, so yeah this was the overall round so i would say that it was pretty i mean if you don't know the, those transformation part or if you don't know how to you know prove this um this eigen values over real symmetric matrix is real if it is not possible for you to you know solve those question uh, in the interview so so it was it, it was pretty rigorous towards theoretical proofs than compared to the computer science department <music> finally appeared for the ec department uh, so here the in the panel there are two professors and one of them started asking me from the linear algebra part so again he started from the eigen value eigen vector part so he started what is eigen value eigen vector then he asked me a proof that you know if a matrix has a unique eigen value prove that its eigen vectors are linearly independent and he asked me the again that, that another question that is that you know eigen value of a real symmetric matrix is real and my bad that i didn't see, i didn't Uh, see the proof in between these two interview rounds because it was very the, the rounds are very close i think one was on 11 o'clock and other was after lunch uh, so i didn't i didn't see the uh, the proof and i couldn't solve it again then he started asking me questions from the vector spaces subspaces null space column spaces uh, dimensions and he given me a scenario that suppose a vector space has dimension 3 and if you are given five vectors which spans that particular vector space how will form the dimension and again he give give, give me two two vectors suppose they are linearly independent how will form the other vector which form the basis so this was uh, i mean it's it it's not totally theoretical proof so there are some some scenario based or application based problems also there and uh, some proofs are there and the next person he started asking me from the probability distribution so he started asking me the random variables distributions and all then he asked me related to that exponential uh, distribution and um, he asked me to prove that it's me it's memoryless property so there is a property called memoryless property you can check it out 
then he asked me related to that gaussian distribution and some one question was there related to that transformation that you know one variable one random variable is coming from one distribution and you have to prove that it is coming uh, uh, how you, have, you will transform it to other distribution and finally he asked me a numerical question that is related to geometric distribution and yeah that's it so ec round was more you know not that rigorous to the uh, theoretical proof so it's kind of a mixture of both theory and application like csa but electrical was more towards the proofs so my final uh, you know takeaway from all this interview and suggestion to all of those who are you know who will be appearing to iisc for either mtech research or phd so please um, you know for particularly for data science i am saying that if you are if you are willing to uh, go for data science interview machine learning data science interviewing system so please you know these two subjects probability and linear algebra please prepare it well specifically that uh, you know for linear algebra i will say the random uh, that uh, eigen value eigen vector part please have you know go through Uh, very well so that you know they will ask you a lot of they may ask you a lot of questions from that particular domain and also do a lot of proofs especially from from the linear algebra so please do watch the proofs because they will ask you a lot of proofs and um, and you, you there are there are some proofs like the eigen value of symmetric matrix is real so you you can't solve it if you if you if you don't 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 know how to solve it so there is a typical pattern you have to solve it so so please prepare this to particular subjects very well and please have a look to all of the proofs that is there so that you are able to solve it okay so that's it uh, about my iisc interview round so i'll be giving a link so there there will be a pdf related to the details of the questions they asked me uh, so in the next video so i'll be making couple of videos more so related to my Uh, experience phd experience phd interview experiences in um, iit kharagpur iit delhi iit kanpur and iit bombay so i'll be making a separate video for each of these iits uh, so there are some patterns that i failed uh, while i appeared through that uh, those, those interviews and uh, like the iisc has this proofs and all they ask so all the all the I, other iits also have a different patterns they used to follow different types of questions they used to follow so that that i'll be sharing in those videos uh, so if you like the video please like like my video and share it uh, with with the people who are really interested uh, to you know to go for this institution for for their masters or mtech research or phd so that it will be helpful for them to prepare for the interview uh, so please let me know if you have any doubt or if you have any 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 other questions that you want me to make a video of so i'll try my best to form a video uh, so that it will be helpful for you and if you are new to this channel if you want to be connected with me please subscribe my channel uh, so that's it we'll be meeting in the next video so please stay tuned uh, okay bye